right, so for those of you that do not know, this is a 96, sorry. This is a 99 <laughs> E36 M3 BMW. A car that came from the factory with under 300 horsepower. But this one is pretty special, man. This one is special because it is an active Auto Works supercharged stage two car. It has super sprint headers. It has brawler exhaust. And uh, I'ma just let the car do the talking. Let's go. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Yeah, it's time to go. What's also um, really special about this car that I haven't been able to master yet is the clutch. So <laughs> as Tito would tell you, we done uh, stalled out a couple times. And y'all know I know how to drive stick. There we go. Oh, <laughs> they don't want it, son. They don't want it. I was able to take off without stalling. That's because of what kind of clutch is in it again, Tito? Uh, stage two UUC. Stage two UUC, yeah. meaning UUC, Stephen can't drive this <laughs> But uh, yeah, man. So far though, we've, we've been driving the car, we've been whipping it around. Okay, let me clutch back in. The clutch don't like the low speed crawls. <laughs> it don't like low speed crawls, huh? Nah, I don't. Okay, I see that. Ready. <laughs> nice. Man, this thing sounds good. It sounds really good, man. I like it. Now, outside of the clutch, what Tito also told me is that in this car, he's done a E46 M3 manual transmission six speed. Six speed. Yeah. So this car from the factory came with a five speed, right? Five speed. So there you go. So you got the six speed upgrade in this. BC coilover sitting real nice. What rotors did you say was on the car? Zimmerman. Zimmerman, Zimmerman rotors. rotors. And we didn't even get to see this is the part where I know I, I cannot stall. I'm going to well, an intersection. Maybe you're gonna have to do a burnout right. to show them I how get to it leave right. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, I'll yeah, say man. that for you. Yeah. I'll say that for you. <laughs> I, I ain't about that life. I ain't, I am not about that life, but I, I figured it out now. Look, 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 look. Oh, you got it. You got it. Look yeah, at that. Smooth. I would have left sideways. I would have left sideways. Hey, <laughs> we're gonna let you do that. I'm not gonna do that. It's your <laughs> shit. So we're gonna let you do that. I'm not doing that. But besides that, man. Okay, this thing, it starts to really open up above yeah. about 4,000 RPMs, and it really lets you have a little fun. Okay, and then you hear the supercharger. <laughs> Yo, this car is running, bro. This car is running. It's running. It feels good, man. It feels nice. I like it a lot. My so, baby right here, man. <laughs> now, the, the motor, how many miles did, do you have on the motor? Is it, this was the original this motor? This is not the original motor. I okay. have three motors for this car. Three I have the original the one okay. sitting in my house. Yep. I have another one that I was in a turbo, but decided not to. Okay. And we're gonna throw it in one of my boys' E30 M3s that he has put it together. Yep. And I got this motor that came with the supercharger and everything already done that I bought from somebody that was cool, close, nice. to, close to me. Nice, um, nice. This has upgraded uh, head gaskets. It's, it has um, the uh, injectors, the uh, injectors, the, the studs, the head, RP, studs. head studs, yep, so, ARP head studs, so that it doesn't lift. Yeah. So makes sense. Uh, it, it's a good motor. To me, it hasn't given me any problems. It was nice. just always a matter of getting the piping right for the supercharger because there's no, there's not a lot of space. Right. And with the torque that it has, the supercharger was moving and you have to get Twist. the right belt set up. Got you it. have to make sure that when the car, when you actually pull, the, right. the belt doesn't fly off of it. Ah, you know, because the torque that this thing has, the belt in the beginning, I had like a belt that was bigger than this. Yup. So it will pop off. Right. And I got the right size and now it just it grabs and it hooks. It just, nice, nice, nice. Nah, it feels it feels good, bro. This car has a hiccup yeah. once, nothing. <laughs> Yo, and when you let off, like you know you moving because yeah. you let off and it hooks. Yeah. <laughs> It go right back forward, so you know you moving yeah, in this man. joint. Jordan did his thing tuning it. Jordan, you had the car RK for tunes, RK right? tunes, yeah. RK tunes, got the he car running good. He was real patient with me. He went through over and over. He's like, you need this. I'll get it. I'll come back. He'll be like, all right, it's running good.
good, but you need this. And then it was back and forth, but finally we got it. And you said Mo at Petro Works did the Mo install. Mo dropped the motor for, dropped the motor okay. in it for me, yeah. Got it, got it. Got so it the Works. car put down, how much horsepower? Last time I went, I think it was like uh, 470 that, that, that Jordan told me, 470 something. He gave me the paperwork. 470, so 470 plus to the wheels in a car that I could tell y'all right now, this car cannot weigh more than 3,300 pounds, 3,400 pounds. Yeah. Gotta be around 34. I know it's a convertible, so it's yeah, a little heavier. heavier. But older cars don't have all the technology that newer cars yeah, have, cars, yeah. that all they did was cause the car to uh, be heavier and heavier as time went on. But man, I tell you, man, this thing is driving tight, man. E36 M3 for the win right now. I'm feeling this. <laughs> this is a nice toy. Yo, did you do anything with Kieran or no? Or you just swapped, dropped it straight in? The tranny is stock E46 tranny. Okay. The, the diff though, it's a 338 diff from an automatic M3. Because the automatics were stronger or the, the gears were longer? The gears were longer. And being that I have Got a it. six speed tranny, this combination is Got amazing it. for, Got it. you know, street driving and highway. Got it. That makes sense. With the superchargers. Boy, so. I could smell that catalyst now. Yeah, you smell it, right? Yeah, I'm smelling it now, yeah, bro. My, my girl hates that, man. All right, I'm, I'm See, still working on the smoothness. He's asking for All it, right. man. This shit like Tunnel guys, run, man. tunnel run. Go ahead, do it. Okay, you got to cut off the traction. It's fun, it's fun. <laughs> How you turn off the traction, bro? No, it's just no traction on it. No traction, that okay. Was all, that was all, yeah. Okay. M3, man. Um, me personally, I'll be honest with you, Tito. I've never been a BMW guy myself, but I can see the allure. I yeah. can see why people love them so much. I mean, it's a very pure experience. And I'll be honest, it's about the closest that I've ever been to like that American muscle type of sound. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, not sound, but feel. Feel, okay. Like the, the raw, raw power. The raw feel, okay, yes. yeah. Job. Only difference is they also handle. <laughs> they have amazing handling. Right, they handle. They have amazing so handling. So that's the difference. And I can tell y'all, man, what, just what they're notorious for is the brake dust. Now we know, we all know about that. <laughs> After this little drive right here, you probably gonna have to clean up yeah, the wheels yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, but but cool. y'all see them spinning. Y'all see these wheels spinning right now. You bought uh, yeah, man. I, I mean, I don't know what else to say. What we gonna do now is, I, I just want you to see what this car look like, man, rolling. So. We're gonna cut to a little beauty montage real quick in three, two, one. tweeters and then um in the trunk is 112 inch subwoofer digital design with um i'm running massive amps called massive for the interior speakers and for bass and max damn everything is running off of one battery i don't have a trunk full of batteries i have one lithium ion battery that's equivalent to like 10 regular <laughs> batteries damn 
whole car runs off of that. Um, I never had any issues with power. And um, sounds like a concert in here, man. It's a club. But with the top off. With the top off. It's, you know how hard it is to get bass out of a convertible, man? It got to be hard because it's not a lot of space. With the top off and with the top on is even louder. That's crazy. So, so what is it like, man, cruising this thing through the city, bro? It gets a lot of attention. A lot of attention with the, the color and the wheel combination right. that I have right. on it. Everybody, you know, BBS is so iconic. And when That's you, the one thing we didn't talk about, actually. Yeah. So tell us, man, what, what shoes you got on this thing? Man? I got a BBS RS's. Yup. It's 17 by nine and nine and a half in the rear, 17 by eight and a half in the front. They were built by um, this guy out in Jersey, Ste Stefan is his name. Okay. He custom made them for E36 Fitman with the Aslan lip and all that. Okay. They're brushed aluminum faces, brushed aluminum lips with nice. white inserts. I did notice the white inserts, yeah. that was pretty. It's a nice Just to touch. To keep it clean. Everybody does the polish it with the, you know, polish it with the gold faces and all that. You I want to do something different. Something different. Yeah. All right. Well, I like it, man. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Yo, this drive has been crazy, brother. <laughs> I really Thank appreciate that. Thank you for having that. me, man. Thank you for having hey, me. Hey, man. If y'all like this video, you know what to do, bro. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos. But until the next one, this your boy Stepping here from Mind the Fiend. <laughs> I'm here with Tito. That's it, with Tito. <laughs> I'm here with Tito and his E36 M3. And we out. We out.